Hi, TTCers and baby seekers. It's Ursula from Uniquely Earthy. Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time watching, thank you and welcome. I hope you will click like and subscribe to stay informed. So for today's topic, we're answering the question, why am I doing IVF at the age of 48? Why don't I just adopt or use foster to adopt to get a baby? I have four very good reasons, so let's get into it. It's a gray overcast day today. I got my cozy sweater on. I got some tea and I'm just doing some self-reflection on this soulful Sunday. And we're gonna get into it and answer that questions for you. So let's go. Okay, reason number one, why I am doing IVF? Well, it's because I don't have any children and I want to experience pregnancy and giving birth to a child. That has been a lifelong deep desire in my heart. So um, the number one reason why I'm doing IVF is that I really want to experience pregnancy and give birth to a child. Um, I am still able to. Um, I mentioned in my introductory video that I had fibroids, uterine fibroids, and had some surgeries, but I do still have um, my uterus and my womb fully intact, so I can carry a pregnancy, and I definitely want to experience that. So that's the number one reason, is that um, I want to experience pregnancy and giving birth. And I would add to that, I guess you could say answer 1B is that um, I have waited to, I want to wait until I got married to have a child, but unfortunately at the age of 48, I still haven't found my life partner yet. And I don't want to miss out on the opportunity to become a mother. So um, unfortunately we as women, we do have biological clocks and we have a finite time frame of when we can have children and I am two years away from 50 and energy and I do want to be still stay relatively young. My window of opportunity is winding down. So I decided to just go forward and become a single mom by choice and go ahead and go after my lifelong dream of having a baby. So in order for me to do that, my best option is to do IVF. So that's answer 1B. And now we'll go on to my reason number two. Reason number two why I am doing IVF instead of doing adoption or fostering to adopt is the cost uh, for adoption. According to Adoption Magazine, um, in 2020, the average price for adoption in the United States is $43,000. Um, so adoption prices can start between $40,000 to $50,000. Um, I could do several rounds of IVF and um, still come out a lot, um, lot cost effective, lot less expensive by doing IVF. So that's one of the second main reasons is the cost of adoption. Also too, I did look into adopting in my early 40s. I actually applied to um, become an adoptive parent, but unfortunately I was told even though I would be an excellent candidate and they saw my character and credentials were top notch. They said that most both birth mothers would not pick me because of my single unmarried status. Um, the adopted agent said that most birth mothers are looking for a two parent household or a married couple to give their babies to. So that was very um, hard for me to hear that. She was being really honest and she was saying you can still apply, but I'm going to be real with you is that um, even though you'd be an excellent candidate and you would be a wonderful mother and provide a great household, is that you would more than likely be the last one picked because, as I mentioned, birth mothers are looking for a two parent household or a married couple. So um, I decided to move on from adoption at that point. Reason number three, why I chose to move forward with IVF instead of adopting or doing foster to adopt is that I also applied to become a foster parent in my mid forties, about age 43 to 44. 
Um, I went through the training and was going to become a foster parent. But at the time I was living um, in DC and I only had a one bedroom apartment. And in order to become a foster parent, you had to have at least two bedrooms. So um, by the time I did move and by the time I got settled here in Jacksonville, Florida and got my house, I decided to go ahead and move forward with IVF. Also um, at the time, there are, is a long waiting list um, for children age zero to three. That was my age range. I had decided if I was going to adopt or do fostering to adopt, I want to do the full process. So I want to do either a newborn or a toddler so I could experience um, raising a child from you know infant or early stages of, of life to the end. And I know there, there are many foster kids in the system who are, you know, um, high school or middle age. And I know there's a great need, but the longing in my heart is to, I really want to experience, you know, a baby and a toddler. So, um, unfortunately, a lot of couples, everyone wants a baby or a toddler. So there's a long wait list and kind of similar to adoption. They told me that it would be a long wait. And plus I need to get a bigger place that had at least two bedrooms. So um, I decided to not move forward with fostering to, uh, fostering to adopt. Also, um, I thought, did some deep soul searching and I, I knew it'd be very hard if I did get placed with a child. And knowing from the onset that the mission for fostering is that they want to reunite the child with the biological parents. So that means that if I did take on a foster child and the child decided to um, be reunited with the biological parent, the child would be taken from me. And that would be very hard after I established a deep connection and um, with that child, it would break my heart to give it up and have to return it back to the, the family. Um, so I knew that my heart just couldn't take that. I, I know I'm a nurturer by nature I would bond so quickly with that child and I just couldn't handle the thought of having to give a child back if I um, got placed with and fostering and knowing from the onset that the purpose of fostering is that they want to reunite the child. So based on those three items with dealing with the fostering, I decided that fostering to adopt at this time in my life is not for me. Now, I am open to maybe fostering later on in my life, but for right now, as I mentioned, I really want to um, experience a baby and raising a young child. So at this point in my life, doing IVF is the best choice for me right now. Okay, last reason, reason number four, why? I am choosing to do IVF instead of doing adoption or fostering to adopt is that I do have some insurance coverage um, for IVF. So um, that's a wonderful benefit. It's a blessing. Um, usually most insurance companies do not cover um, IVF procedures. Mine doesn't cover IVF um, per se, as far as like me, I'm mentioning that I'm doing donor eggs and doing the transfer but my insurance will cover testing, doctor's appointments, they'll cover um, medical labs, as well as delivery and monitoring visits and stuff like that. So while I have those benefits and can get medications as well with um, a deep discount, it, um, it also motivated me to go after IPF. I, as I mentioned, I am using CNY Fertility in New York in Syracuse to do my IVF. They offer very affordable packages for uh, IVF and especially for donor IVF and transfers. So um, using CNY and also taking advantage of my insurance and discounted medications and medical and laboratory visits makes my um, IVF pursuit much more affordable than trying to do adoption and, or um, fostering to adopt, as I mentioned, um, would be very difficult for me and also would take me a while to get chosen and picked. And it might be a year or two or more for me to um, be on a wait list to get a baby in the foster care system. So by that time, I would be maybe you know 50, I might age out in some states, 
So right now is the best for my life, at this stage of my life, to do IVF. Also, um, with using donor eggs, a beautiful way I look at it is that I will be able to, you know, adopt and give birth to the child that I'm going to carry. That's how I look at donor um, eggs and donor IVF in general is that it's a win-win situation. Um, I'm able to adopt a child. You know, I got donor eggs, I got a sperm donor, and I'll have some embryos. And so I'll be able to experience pregnancy and give birth to a child that, though it's not biologically mine, I will view it no different and will love it and raise it as if it was my own. And I will be happy to tell that child how much you were wanted. And I did everything I can to, you know, bring you here. So I look forward to moving forward with my donor embryo IVF. Um, and I'm very excited about hopefully um, this in Jesus' name, God's name, because I am a Christian, that my um, transfers will work this spring and later this year, and I'll be able to have my baby. So thank you for watching um, this topic today. And uh, as I answer your questions that you may be thinking about why at the age of 48 that I'm doing IVF and why I'm not adopting or using foster to adopt. So as you see, I have some very good reasons. And um, I, as usual, I thank you all for your support and your encouraging words. I also wanna say I appreciate all the great comments that several of you have left for me. Um, it's great engaging with you all. Please add some more comments below to this video if you want some more feedback or you have any other questions or topics you would like for me to cover. I'm an open book and I'm excited to share my journey. And as I always love to say at the end of my videos, may your days be blessed and may your dreams be made manifest. Cheers. Happy Sunday. Have a blessed week. Bye.